Hi guys, and it's the Pro Tech Geek here, and today I'm going to be talking about the future of Apple. So, Apple is one of the world's biggest companies, and I think almost everybody knows who they are. Apple makes so much money every single year from all of their products. But what are they going to do when all of their products are perfect? I feel like once Apple's products are perfect, the their services will be something they'll rely heavily on for revenue. The likes of TV Plus and, you know, these other different services they have, and especially trying to sell people the Apple One plans, will be something that will generate a lot of money for Apple, and it already has. But if Apple really wants to be into this services game, they're going to need to increase the amount of stuff that these services offer over other types, or at least be the same as. Because, for example... Apple TV Plus, the selection of TV shows and movies just can't compete with the likes of Netflix. So if Apple wants to keep pushing their services and making people want to use them, they're going to need to try to compete with these other service brands. So if you've not heard about it, Apple is going to make a car, whether that is themselves or partnering with another car company. So Apple wants to develop a new car of their own and the rumours and leaks, and this is just a render, this probably won't be like the final design, but I don't know. But they've been meeting with multiple companies. Apple's been meeting with companies like Kia and Tesla because they're wanting to develop a car. I think it would be a bad idea for Apple Apple to just go out and make their own car without any help of any other companies. I think it would be really cool, but obviously Apple doesn't have any experience in this compared to like these other car companies and it would take much, much longer for Apple to just build a car from scratch. So I think that if Apple is going to do a car partnering with another company, they'll just put like their own chip inside and then do like the interior, but the actual like motor and stuff will be from a car company. It suggested that it will be released near the end of the decade, so you won't probably see it anytime soon, but I'm really excited to hopefully see one of these eventually. Apple wants to get into the foldable phone market. There are rumours of Apple making their own foldable device, either like this kind of design, the one like the Z Flip, or one like this that's like more like the Z Fold design. But they'll only do one or the other, apparently not both. Apparently that it will probably be quite affordable actually, because there's been leaks and stuff about the phone being in fun colours. You know, if it was meant for like really, really high premium price tag, like, you know, 2000 and stuff, they probably wouldn't do fun colours like, you know, like reds and greens and blue and stuff. But I think even if it was cheaper, it would still cost maybe like a thousand and stuff. But for a foldable device, that's not actually that bad. They still probably won't be coming though till about 2022, 2023. But I am really excited for the foldable iPhone and I think it's really cool to think that my next phone could be a foldable one. Thank you for watching this video and hope you enjoyed it. I'm really excited to see about the upcoming Apple products and I don't think that Apple will go out of business anytime soon. I think that even when they stop selling their regular old iPhones and stuff, They'll always have something to keep them in business, whether that's their services or the cars or their new folding devices. So goodbye. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.